Okay, in this question we're asked to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bound by y equals x cubed, all right, that curve, and the lines y equals 0 and x equals 2, and we're going to do this about the x-axis. Right, the first thing to do is to draw a picture of this to get a sense of what's happening. We know that the uh, cubic function does this and of course if we go from 0 to 2 all right we have this situation now we're taking that area if you like bound by the x-axis all right x equals 2 and of course y equals 0 is the x-axis and so when x equals 0 then of course we've got uh, the y-axis restricted there so in other words we're taking this and if you draw a picture of this we end up with this solid and if I can put some three dimensions on it alright we have this kind of solid now the whole purpose of uh, this is to uh, take a little disk because we're talking about the disk method here alright and we put a disk through here which will be a width of dx okay now you all know that a disk alright has this circular is circular and if you look at the radius so if I if I can do a disk over here alright so we end up with our disk it has a radius okay now the radius here is going to be from the x-axis to the function and the function is x cubed right so let's call the uh, the radius r of x to be the x cubed right for each, each value of x right now the volume of a disk okay is given by pi r squared okay all right and then the thickness all right which we sometimes use as h all right now putting it in the context of this disk here and what we're going to do is we're going to find the uh, volumes of all these disks and add them up and that's going to lead us to the integral right is that the h here is the dx part so the area in terms of x would be given by <coughs> the integral from 0 to 2, so I'm going to add up all these disks, uh, pi, the radius squared, which we're calling rx squared dx. Okay? All right, and that's the, uh, the formula for the disk method. Okay? Now, in this case here, of course, what we have therefore is the um, I should say this is the volume okay and this is the volume all right the area is the pi r squared of the uh, the circular face and then the thickness is h so this is the volume and so our volume is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of pi and of course the radius is the cubed so that's squared x cubed dx so we're looking bring the pi out so it's the integral from 0 to 2 of x to the 6 dx which of course is simply going to be uh, pi by the integral of x uh, to the 6 is uh, x to the 7 on uh, uh, 7 and we're going to evaluate that between 0 and 2 so this becomes pi by 2 to the 7 on 7 uh, minus uh, 0 to the 7 on 7 and of course this comes out to be uh, 2 to the 7 will be um, so 32 is 5, 64, 128 pi on 7 and this is 0 so this is going to be units 
cubed because remember we found a volume. So that's the volume of the solid of uh, <coughs> that's generated by y equals x cubed from 0 to 2 around the x-axis.